Well, hello everybody. This is Norman Hutchins, and I want to welcome you to the Gospel Industry 101. As I promised, I would be doing tutorials on different subjects as it relates to the gospel industry. And so this volume, volume one, we're going to deal with how to become a gospel artist and also how to make it a full-time job. And of course, ministry uh, as well. Uh, it's early here, I'm at the Philadelphia airport, um, waiting on a flight on my way to Seattle, Washington, to minister to the people of God. And I'm excited that uh, the Lord has uh, blessed us throughout the years that we've been able to travel the nation and the world ministering in song and of course I'm a preacher as well so they both go hand in hand but anyway I'm glad you joined us on this tutorial and I'm excited about the subject uh, I've been doing music now for over 35 years and uh, it has uh, been a blessing to my life and uh, I'm just excited about it so <clears throat> the topic is how to become a gospel artist. Notice what I didn't say. I did not say how to become a recording artist, okay? Because number one, a recording artist does not define you as a gospel singer. No, you become a gospel singer before you become a recording artist. Um, the purpose of becoming a recording artist is to help take your ministry beyond your borders into the masses but you're already a gospel artist if you've made up in your mind that that is what you want to do um, you just want to make sure that you are thoroughly prepared that you're a good singer you know um, and uh, that you have the ability to uh, communicate a gospel through song that can be uh, convicting to those who hear and encouraging and inspiring to those who hear and so just like right now if you made up in your mind right now and say hey you know what I want to be a gospel singer bam that's it okay so now you made a decision to be a gospel singer because you really believe that you have a voice um, that uh, can communicate the word of God and, and a message in song that you will put a melody to it that will bless people. It's just that simple. So now what you got to do is build on it. That's all. Just build on it. Build on your desire to be a gospel singer. So here's some things you want to do. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to connect with a good church. Connect with a good church uh, that has a good uh, music ministry. Uh, join the choir, join the praise team, you know, and um, become faithful to that church because being faithful to a church in the ministry of music will help you continue to develop your gift and your, you know, your voice um, and make you more effective. Um, back in 1991, uh, way before I started recording, I joined Wes Angeles and I joined the uh, choir. I was one tenor in a robe in the choir. I was one of 120 voices, you know, but every once in a while, our director would say, hey, who would like to lead this song or that song? And I'd raise my hand, I'd give it a shot. And man, please, that was it. I mean, you know, next thing I knew, I was one of the um, uh, rotating leaders of songs, you know, and so you begin to do that and uh, become faithful to ministry. Then the other thing you can do, because now, time has changed. I mean, technology has changed. You want to uh, create your Facebook, your Instagram, and your social media page and start doing some uh, snippets of you singing and just singing and encouraging people, you know, whether you do it to a soundtrack or whether you do it uh, acapella or, or, or something you've done in church that they've recorded that you could put on your page, you, you begin to do that. And that too will start blessing people. But now I will tell you something. 
um, in this modern time, most record companies uh, do not uh, sign people by going to their concerts and uh, appearances like they used to. Nowadays, <clears throat> singers are being signed from Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and all of that because the A and R directors get an opportunity to just surf uh, social media and see what's out there. Now, here's another thing too. So, if you're gonna post yourself singing, you need to give your contact information. You know, I know a girl I've been looking for. I mean, you know, because you know I'm the president of of IR Music Group, and this girl I can't even think of her name, but I hear her singing all the time on on uh, Facebook, and I've been looking for her. I really, I would love to do a single on her. This girl can sing, but I can't find her. I can't find her. Now I've even got people looking out to find her, and still can't find her. Well, in the meantime, I didn't sign somebody else, so I really do wouldn't have time now if if I could find her. So it's important that you give your information, you know, your um, um, your website, you know, put that up there. So if people want to contact you, say, hey, listen, I'm I'm interested. Now I will tell you, we did sign a group from um, uh, Facebook. I was just looking through Facebook, and I saw this group of four girls, sisters. And man, they were killing. And so I reached out and they responded. Next thing I knew, I signed them to the, to the label. Uh, they're from New Orleans, they're called the Jones Sisters. So we flew to New Orleans and recorded them. And, uh, and uh, their single is released now and it's doing good, you see. But it was because I was able to get in contact with them. So you wanna do that. Then you also, you gotta learn how to market yourself. Yeah, you got so many different ways of marketing your, yourself now. Hey, I'm available for singing engagements. People don't know that if you don't let them know. My mama used to say, a quiet mouth never gets fed. Okay, but if it's in your heart to bless people through your gift of singing, then you need to let them know, hey, I'm available. Uh, I'm available for uh, uh, worship services. I'm available for weddings. I'm available for special events. You know, market yourself. Get some nice pictures. You know, not the ones, you know, <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, but make yourself some nice pictures. And, uh, you know, begin to market. You'd be surprised how many people will give you a call and say, hey, can you come do this event? Can you come do that event? And so you begin to do I know singers who have made a career out of singing and have never recorded a CD. Never recorded a CD but they're full-time singing, you know? And now, so here's the other thing. So, but if you are a singer and a writer, you know, then you really want to uh, build your singing career while at the same time pursue um, uh, uh, recordings because you want to, you know, get your music out there so that uh, it can be uh, heard as well. Somebody said, well, how do I do that? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to make yourself a good demo a really nice uh, professional demo of one of your original songs uh, that you can use uh, to shop. You don't do all of your songs. It's one great song that really, really um, 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 uh, um, gives, gives uh, the listeners an opportunity to hear how well you communicate. And, uh, and, and I'm telling you, there's nothing like hearing a singer sing and boy, you just feel them little tears want to drop down your face or you want to throw your hands up and say hallelujah. You know, that's the kind of people that record companies are looking for. And I will tell you this, um, usually for myself, for IR Music Group, I don't like to sign just singers. I like to sign writers because at the end of the day, it is a business and publishing and uh, streaming and social media and uh, digital formats is really where the money is made. You know, you know, you can you can close your eyes and touch a singer, but there are very few great writers who are also singers. Now, of course, I have signed uh, artists uh, who are great singers, but they may not, you know, be writers. But that's okay because I write. I have a team of writers, and so what we do is we let that vocal voice communicate the songs that you know we have written. You know, and. Uh, and so I just want to encourage you, listen, um, you can make a career out of, you know, ministering in song all across the country. 
there's always a, a conference. There's always events. There's always things going on. Uh, even with radio stations, as you hear radio stations, they're doing uh, events, okay? Say they're doing events and they got major artists coming in. There's nothing wrong with you putting a little packet together, you know, with your picture, your bio, and a nice, really good demo, and send it to your station. Say, hey, I understand you got this event coming up, and listen, I would love to be a part of it. You got to learn how to represent yourself, okay? Um, but then again, singing at church, and this is what singing at church will do. So singing at church with the praise team or the choir, and particularly if you become a leader, uh, you got visiting churches coming, right? Visiting pastors. Uh, uh, you may be in a conference, whatever. Well, think about this. So if you're in a sanctuary singing a lead song and it's blessing everybody, and you got 15, 20 pastors out there, more than likely one or two of them is gonna say, hey, can you come to my church? I can't begin to tell you how many invitations I've gotten to sing and to minister at many, many ministries only because I was in an atmosphere where there were several pastors there. As a matter of fact, I can't really think of one time that I have ever sang at a conference or anniversary, a special event where there was a group of pastors and I did not get at least two, three, sometimes five invitations to come, you know, to do that. And then of course there's the, um, the financial piece. If you're new and you're getting started, Listen, don't overprice yourself. Usually uh, a good way is say, what is your budget? What is your budget? And let them give you uh, what their budget is for that event. And then of course, if they are, um, if, their, if their budget is, is not quite what uh, you, you think is fair, then, then you counter offer that in a, in a graceful way. So let's say they say, well, our budget is $500. But you, you know, thinking, I'm thinking $800. So you say, well, you know what? Can you guys do $800? Okay. That's, it's not that you're going to turn it down if they can't. Because if you're home doing nothing, you might as well go make that $500. You know, especially if they're going to cover your uh, uh, transportation, all that stuff. Of course, that's just a low, low number that I'm using as an example. Because usually that's not where we start. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, but as a new artist, a new person who's wanting to sing, you know, you gotta get exposure. You gotta get exposure. And so sometimes you may have to volunteer to do the event for nothing, you know? But it blesses the people. And in return, God will touch somebody's heart to invite you somewhere that will perhaps compensate you for what you have done, all right? And uh, let's see, what else? Of course, um, uh, so the important thing is is get in a choir or praise team. You, you listen. You shouldn't be singing gospel music if you're not connected to a church anyway, because you got to be accountable to somebody, you know, be accountable to a pastor. So I have a 35 year career now in gospel music because I joined Wes Angeles. I submitted myself to my pastor, Bishop Charles E. Blake, uh, the uh, uh, presiding emeritus bishop of the Churches of God in Christ. And he gave me an opportunity to sing in the music, in the music department and then the Bible says your gift makes room for you. Your gift makes room for you. And so I started as a tenor in the choir. Next thing I knew, I was out front leading songs. Then I became the assistant minister of music. Then I became the executive minister of music. Then we were recording albums at the church as well. You know, and so um, uh, uh, thank God for uh, a Bishop Charles E. Blake who uh, saw something in me uh, uh, in my infancy stage of developing my music. And he gave me an opportunity, and I will never forget that as long as I live, okay? But being faithful to a church, singing, learning to market yourself, do a good demo, put it out there, give your information. Somebody can be looking for you and can't even find you. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and then, of course, be encouraged and just don't think that it's gonna happen overnight. It's taken me 35 years to get to a place, uh, you know, where I am today. But I'm not saying it's going to take you that long. All I'm saying is, listen, just be encouraged and hang in there. Don't give up, you know. And you got to go to events, you know. Uh, don't just uh, wait for people to call you. Go to events. 
you know, go to go to concerts, go to church services, go to conferences, and uh, uh, and those kind of things, and and always have a small, you know, press packet of, of some sort, if you would, uh, with your little demo in it. That if if you can now, if you don't know how to put a professional demo together, I can help you. Okay, so just email me at uh, Norman Hutchins H U T C H I N S at Yahoo dot com. Okay, Norman Hutchins at Yahoo dot com, and then I can um, uh, help you uh, prepare and get your demo together, your press packet together, and all of that, and just you know kind of help coach you along uh, even further than just this uh, tutorial, okay? So you be inspired, you be encouraged, and know that uh, the kingdom is waiting for your voice. Be blessed.